So what are two or three of the most important achievements of the joint program? In terms of achievement, I don't want to mention the outcome because, uh, of course, at the beginning of the program, we set the objective and three key outcomes of the program already. Um, I want to say that this joint program, the first thing is really good that at least it's bring on UN sit together and work together to deliver it at one. Uh, Vietnam have a one uh, like a one UN pilot country and uh, I see that your program like an entry point for us to to learn and to know how to work together to deliver it at once to support the government. So in Vietnam, we work through a program coordination group. Uh, for example, Center Program Coordination Group work together. Uh, also, um, we, uh, under uh, Zen, we call Zen the PCC, under Zen the PCC Program Coordination Group. So under Zen the PCC, we have a different sub-working group who are at the technical level. So on uh, specific area, then we can bring on expertise and mobilize different expertise in UN to support for government. And also the, the example of coordination within UN as a good model and sample for government for, um, to, 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 to work better in terms of coordination. Because we see now in the government, they uh, not very good at the coordination mechanism. Different ministry uh, given assignment by government to work on different part of gender equality and gender violence. But how to co to support for government to coordinate better? It yeah, it's challenges. And UN already this joint program at least that set up the heavy of a good assemble of coordination and at the beginning a coordination group only among UN agency but now we invited the government partner to sit together in this PCC so I think it's very good and um, also um, thanks to that different line ministry different ministry sit together to address the same issue and uh, through this joint program very successful that, um, you know, um, we support for government to develop gender equality strategy and also set up very good, not very good, but uh, at least support them to set up the database system on gender. And now the set of indicator, gender indicator have been developed by government. And um, we also advocate them to uh, use MDC indicator uh, to, to put in that system. So at least uh, every, not every, because some indicator will be reported on and collected every year, but some will be collected two years, or maybe uh, some indicator will be collected in five years. And recently, uh, you know, in this November last year, Vietnam launched the um, result of the study on domestic violence. The first time ever Vietnam have a, a data, have a data on uh, domestic violence prevalence. Yeah, it's um, around 32 percent of married women um, have been experiences in physical violence in their marital life. It's quite sensitive in Vietnam when they when they see the prevalence very high. But at least after that launching, a lot of attention from government, NGO and different organizations to think about it. And they are, they are will, it's good that the number attract the attention of different policy makers. And we, after uh, government launching that study, another consultative workshop among different partners, UN, NGO and government sit together to discuss uh, uh, the how to address gender uh, violence in the future. So that is a very good input for us to move forward and, and also the output of this 
consultative workshop with the government, we can use to uh, to to uh, develop and formulate next one plan because Vietnam now on the process of preparation of one one plan for next five year. Yeah. So I see this very good. Thank you. Very good. Um, okay. On a similar note, why is it important? Thinking for the public audience here, why is it important? for all of these government agencies and all the UN agencies to come together to work on something like gender or gender-based violence. Why can't they just do, why is, what's the value added of all working together? Uh, because now the different NGO and also different sector um, uh, work on different uh, part of uh, gender-based violence prevention or promo for gender equalities. They cannot mobilize the human resources and other resources to do better this work. So, so the government need to have a, one very good coordination mechanism to mobilize and on different resources uh, to ensure the quality and the effectiveness of intervention and also to avoid overlaps because you see some organization or some um, um, local organization or government de department they they do intervention in some some area and and also maybe a lot of overlap also happen in the same area why other area have a no intervention why because when any any NGO they come to the local they also look at the human resources who can um, conduct their project so maybe because of convenient purpose or some other purpose, then it is create the overlap and unnecessary. But if government have a one coordination, if on the UN come together to delivery at once, it's the same time, same same money and more effective. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, one more question. Uh, if you, what kind of advice? Two or three pieces of advice that would you give to somebody, a UN staff person who's designing or just starting to work on a joint program? What are the important things to remember? Um, because now the joint program in Vietnam is, is um, from UN side, we have a 12 UN and from government three key implementation partners and 14 different sub-implementation partners. It's very complicated. And UNFPA as a leading agency and also responsible for operation. So I think because different organizations, UN have a different uh, financial report mechanism and also, <laughs> I think also um, uh, from government side, they also have a different report system. So it's great. I think it's very complicated. If in the future, if we have a, a, any other joint program, just focus and s very selective among UN or government agency who focus on specific area. Otherwise, it's very difficult. And also, different UN when they work with government, make sure that we live and at one and speak at the same point, and also. If any focal point from UN, UN need to have a higher commitment and, and know how to mobilize a valuable expertise to support better for the government. Yeah. Because sometimes I feel that it's also um, dependent on the uh, individual commitment and willingness to work on the joint program. Yeah. Yeah, it comes down to the personal level sometimes. Yeah, yeah, sometimes personal level very um, impact on the work. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I said it was the last. Maybe there's one, one more. Um, how do you think the joint program is, it, it is or could have an impact on the lives of women in Vietnam? I think the role of UN work very high level. Um, to uh, support for government in terms of changing policy, capacity building, um, develop data and evidence base for um, policy.
policy formulation and programming. I think the impact is bring to the people very at very uh, large and at, at the macro level. Because may, some people said that they cannot see the result, but if only one sentence in the policy change is already impact in the million people. So I think I think very good that at least we um, we um, we support for government to better understanding uh, on on the standard issues, and at least we can provide evidence for government to see and to think about uh, the, the the problem of standard inequality. And in in the next five years, we plan to support for government to do costing study. And from this, government will see how much gender based violence will cost and how the gender inequality will be obstacle for the development if government do not focus to address this issue. So I think we start from evidence-based and support for them to provide evidence-based and how to produce evidence-based, how to use evidence-based for policy formulation and for programming, very important to the government. And also, we want we to want use evidence-based to convince the policy maker. But uh, before, I forget one thing when you said that um, what we can do better for your program. Because in the joint group, we work at the high level. And I think the important thing that we need to create some champion in the government. Because we really need someone in the government to support for us. Otherwise, the program very challenges. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Stop there. Yeah.